I like the active rehabilitation component. I like to deconstruct people and then build, help build them back up, basically. I get to get to know them, get to know what issues they're having. A lot of it is post uh, motor vehicular accident, that kind of thing. So it's uh, people who have not had a great time of it and I get to help, help them put their lives back together, basically, but from the physical standpoint. Talking to insurance adjusters. It's just stressful. <laughs> knowing what I'm talking about so it doesn't so I both don't sound like I'm talking out of my rear end nor am I um, and being confident that I, I that I am good at my job and that I and that I'm valuable as a service because there's nothing worse than someone asking you why that you should they should be paying for you and you not be able to have an answer Um, a lot of people think of a kinesiologist as a glorified personal trainer. I, I, maybe there are some people who function in that capacity, but generally what I do, it's there's so much more to it than that. Because, because every patient I'm dealing with has some comor comorbidity, something else going on, generally a psychological factor. It's never just as simple as, here's the person, make them stronger. It's never that easy. There's always more to it. <laughs> no, <laughs> not even a little bit. I think I came into this actually looking to more of like a, a well-educated trainer, maybe getting into some kind of advanced fitness component, and that's not at all where my career or my interests ended up taking me. Um, biomechanics, any of the physiology. Um, I actually found a lot of the more in-depth uh, physiology, so going down to the cellular level, more useful than you'd expect because a lot of people, they know their basic large muscle groups, but they want to know is why, why you're asking them to do something that doesn't necessarily make sense to them. And you sometimes need to be able to break that down to Golgi tendon organs and the fascial level as opposed to just, this is your muscle group, this is how we work it. Be willing to take a low-paying job to get the experience you need to get the job you want. Because entry-level jobs, in this field anyway, don't pay particularly well. It's, and it's next to impossible to get a job without some experience, so be prepared for that because that's a reality of it. But if you actually enjoy what you're doing, it's worth it to eventually get a job that pays what you're worth. 